guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about circuiting in our fire alarm systems design. Okay, so after learning how to edit the circuit, so this time around, what we are going to do is we are going to create a panel schedule from our existing panel. Okay, so if you still remember, here in our electrical room, wherein we have this couple of panels here so what we are going to do next is we are going to create a panel schedule so before i start so let me just blow up this portion here by creating a call out here so i'm going to select a rectangle and then i'll just create here a call out okay so there's my call out modify and then I'll just open the call out by double clicking the circle part double click and then it will now open our call out now what I'm gonna do is to create a schedule a panel schedule so all you have to do is to select the panel that you want to use to create our panel schedule so let's say for example uh, let me just turn off first the pattern of my floor here so I do not want to see these patterns here so I'm going to go to my electrical plan view template and then I go to the visibility graphic overrides model edit and then let's look for floor okay so for this one you just need to go to the override on the patterns column just select that override then just turn off the visibility of your floor select ok and then select ok ok and it will now disappear now to create a panel schedule let's say for example for this equipment for our fire alarm control panel 02 so all you have to do is to select that panel and then from the modify electrical equipment tab so there is the electrical panel here so there's the tool that we need okay so i'm going to click the drop down arrow and then we have two options here it's either you use the default template and then the other one is to create or choose a template so for this one i'll just use default template okay so it generates a panel schedule for the selected panel using the default template so the default template is set using the manage templates tool uh, panel schedule templates control the formatting and type of information displayed in a panel schedule. So you can place panel schedules on sheets to produce required documentation. So I'm going to select use default template and there you go. So as you can see here for our panel FACP02, of course you can uh, rename that one. For that panel, so we have these two circuit here. Okay, so you can change here the circuit description if you want. So let's say, for example, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my system browser, which is this one. So as you can see, if I select this uh, circuit number two here, automatically our system browser here will highlight our circuit number two, right? So if I'm going to expand that, so these are the uh, devices that is connected to that circuit for our uh, fire alarm space 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, level 1 here. So I'm going to click that. And then as you can see, our circuit number 2 is still selected. You see that uh, dash line there. So it highlights the whole circuit. So what I'm going to do is instead of going to the properties and changing the load name here you can actually use your panel schedule to update the load name so aside from going to the properties you can also go to your panel schedule and then you can change here the name okay so let's say for example i'm just going to change this to uh f a uh let's say this will gonna be my uh area one okay or area two then i'll just enter and then after that if i select this one so notice that the load name now here is updated to area number two 
So same with my fire alarm space for here. So I'm going to select that and then I can change that name. So let's say I'm going to change that to area one and then enter. Okay. Right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is aside from editing the notes here, adding some notes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another call out. So let's say, for example, or I mean uh, an, another uh, panel schedule. So this time around here on my electrical equipment, FACP01. So I'm going to select that. And then after that, there's the create panel schedules. And then I'll just use again the use default template. Again, so it's very simple. So this is now our panel. And then these are now the names of my circuit. Okay, the circuit description. So this is the load name. It's the load name. Okay. And then again, if you are going to select one of your circuit here and then you go to the system browser, notice that it will highlight here on our model, right? Or on our system browser. Okay, so it's not that difficult. So let me just re uh, repeat again. So I'm going to select my call out. So this time here. So let me check this one. And then I select here. So for this one, it's under the unassigned item. So there is no system actually yet created in this panel. So that's why you can see here on the system browser, which is pretty handy. It shows you here that this panel doesn't have any system yet because it's still under the unassigned items. Okay, so it's you see it's there on my fire alarm. This firefighters control and indicating panel. It doesn't have any system yet. Okay, and one and uh one way of checking if your panel is already part of the system or not, aside from looking at your system browser, is just by Simply selecting that and then check if you have another contextual tab here. Okay, as you can see, I only have one contextual tab. And then there is this create systems fire alarm. So this is the only time that you will be creating system. You can see that create system. So if your panel contains a circuit already or it's already part of the system or the circuit, like for example, this panel here, if I select this, Notice that aside from the modify electrical equipment, there is another contextual tab here that is electrical circuit. So meaning to say this is already part of the circuit, but it is not uh, completed or not all the connectors of this panel is already part of the system because you can still create a system here or fire alarm system. But as you can see, it already contains an electrical circuits tab here, meaning some of the connectors for this panel is already part of the circuit. Okay, so it's already part of our uh, fire alarm uh, circuit here, MACP02. Sorry if I'm going to go ahead and select that one. As you can see, this one, that's your MACP2, and then there's your circuit. Okay, so another thing is this one, this panel, if I select this one, again, you can create a system for this one, but if you are going to take a look at the contextual tab, it contains two contextual tabs. One is modify electrical equipment. The other one is electrical circuit. So meaning to say, this is already part of the circuit. Some of the connector of this particular panel is already part of the circuit. As you can see also here on our uh, system browser, and it has the contextual trap electrical circuits. Okay, because if your panel doesn't have a circuit or assigned to a system like this one, as you can see, it doesn't have the other tab here, electrical circuit. Okay, but you can start to create a system or circuit out of this panel here. Okay. So that's how you check if your panel or your devices is already part of the circuit or not. Okay, now for the last part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my two panel schedule here. 
inside the sheets okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click the sheets select new sheet let me just use this default title block and new placeholder let me just select OK and then let me just drag and drop my MACP01 which is that one and then I'm going to drag as well MACP2 and there you go okay so that's how you create your uh, panel schedule so hopefully you learn something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you for watching have a nice day